Well, as we say goodbye to March, uh, the average high temperature was 71 degrees. The average low was 51. Um, the highest temperature of the month was 85. The lowest temperature was 43. We had almost an inch of a half, inch and a half of rain this month of March. So we, so we did get some snow up in the mountains. Um, but actually, Dodgers and Angels, of course have played spring training baseball this month. And of course, Villanova and Kansas and Duke and North Carolina are headed to the final four this weekend on Saturday. And then next Monday, of course, is the championship game. And I think Duke is gonna be favored because it's also Coach K's final hurrah, you know? And um, well, the Lakers, of course, have lost four in a row already. And they're 14 games under 500, and they've had a miserable month of March. And uh, at, with Anthony Davis being injured, that's a huge blow. And LeBron, of course, you know, he's, he's running on fumes right now, and he's running out of gas. And, well, and Russell Westbrook has a few good games, but he also turns the ball over a lot. And... I do like Malik Monk and Austin Reeves, but Kendrick Nunn has been ruled out for the season because of that bone bruise he's been dealing with, and it hasn't healed. And Frank Vogel, I hate to say it, but it's likely that he's going to be fired at the end of the season. And um, the Lakers only have six games left, three at home, three on the road, and it's not going to be easy. And the Clippers just lost to the Bulls tonight as well. So they're still sitting in the eighth seed right now. They got five games to go. The only way the Clippers are going to have a winning record is if they win every game. So the Lakers have to win every game because the Spurs and Pelicans own the tiebreaker. And the Spurs play the Trailblazers twice, and Portland is bad. Uh, well, Miami, Boston, and Milwaukee are already going to the playoffs, as are Phoenix and... Memphis and uh, Dallas, I mean, Phoenix has locked up the one seed and Memphis has locked up the two seed. So that's taken care of, so. Boy, I wouldn't be surprised if Dallas finishes third because look at Luca, he's been tearing it up. Even the Joker's been playing well and Embiid. And of course the Greek freak, but um, yeah, so Miami's still a one in the East at the moment. And Milwaukee is only a half game back. And Boston, unfortunately, is in the three seed right now. Philly lost, so they're the four seed at the moment. And then in the fifth seed, you got the Bulls. The sixth seed, you got the Raptors. Right now, the seventh seed is Cleveland. And boy, Brooklyn, Atlanta, and Charlotte are all tied. But it's likely Brooklyn's going to win eighth. But, of course, we got Phoenix and Memphis all locked up. Dallas and Golden State are probably going to trade 3-4. And, of course, with Utah winning, they're tied with Denver. Minnesota leads the play-in right now. And uh, just six games. April Fools. Yeah. Pelicans. And Sunday's a national game against Denver. Phoenix. Golden State. Thunder. April 8th. The, the last home game. Yeah. Basketball player index says that we're underdogs against those teams with winning records. But... I'm so happy that baseball starts next week. And, um, uh, and again, a happy birthday to my, to my late grandma, who would have been 100 years old today. I love you. I miss you. I'll see you on the other side, of course, until we meet again. But also a happy birthday going out to uh, Christopher Walken and to Herb Alpert and to uh, former Vice President Al Gore. And, of course, to Rhea Perlman, who happens to be Danny DeVito's ex-wife. 
but they still remain very good friends. And um, also a happy birthday to J.R. Reed and to Matt Cobra. And uh, also, um, yeah, it's last day of March. And, and a happy birthday to the late Cesar Chavez as well. Meanwhile, uh, have a great night. I'll catch you all later. And stay safe. Uh, peace out.